Hello, and welcome to the Get Lean and Eat Clean podcast. My name is Brian Grin. I'm a certified health coach, trainer, and author. And this podcast is for middle-aged men and women looking to optimize their health and get their bodies back to what it once was 10 to 15 years ago. I will give you simple, actionable items to get long-term sustainable results. Thanks for listening and enjoy the show. All right. Welcome to the Get Lean, Eat Clean podcast. My name is Brian Grin. I hope you had a great weekend and maybe enjoyed some football. Uh, there were some great games on Sunday night. I should say one good, great game. Um, the other one wasn't so good, but hopefully your team advanced and moved on. My team did not even play in it. That's the Chicago Bears, but we do have the first pick in the draft, so excited for that. But anyways, <clears throat> hope you listened to uh, my last interview with Chip Baker. We discussed all about having effective conversations to ignite relationships. We also talked about his book, Impact of Influence. So definitely check that out. You know, it's a different topic that we normally talk about on the podcast, but I think now more than ever, building relationships and creating effective conversations with loved ones is is truly important. So um, hopefully you, you listen to it. If not, check that out, episode 222. And today I want to touch on, you know, on the micro podcast, um, it's a topic that comes up with some of my clients from time to time because I'm a big fan of eating whole legs. Um, I've always been like that. And, you know, back in the day, the bodybuilding, old school bodybuilding day, egg whites were like the thing. But hopefully after this study, maybe you'll realize that this is something that you should start adding into your um, routine if, if you haven't already. Um, the egg yolk has a ton of benefits, and you're going to see why in this study that was done in 2021. Um, and so actually one of the um, the participating um doctors that put this study together, Dr. Andy Galpin, was on my podcast not too long ago. So I was excited to see that. This was in the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research in February 2021, where they did whole egg versus egg white ingestion during a 12 weeks of resistance training in young males. And, you know, the primary purpose was to compare the effects of, you know, whole eggs versus egg whites uh, for 12 weeks of resistance training and they did all these different measurements, cross-sectional areas of body composition, muscular strength, anaerobic power in, in these resistance trained young males. Um, so they took 30 resistance trained young males, uh, randomly assigned them uh, whether they should ingest whole eggs or egg whites after, after their workout, immediately after their, their resistance training session. And I believe, yes, three, three sessions per week of 12 weeks, whole body. So, um, and they measured pretty much everything, uh, knee extensor, muscle mass, um, lean body mass, body fat percentage, muscular strength, and, um, serum of concentrations, serum concentrations of hormones. So really interesting. I, I think this is a cool study because this is, you know, uh, this is, I think, something that comes up a lot. Uh, people wondering, well, should I eat the whole egg or should I eat the egg white? Well, the results were pretty dramatic in the sense that post-exercise whole egg ingestion increased knee extension and hand grip strength. So it increased strength, testosterone, and reduced body fat percentage compared with the post-exercise egg white ingestion. That's pretty big. So strength, testosterone, and reduction in body fat percentage from the whole egg group. So at the end, it concludes whole eggs consumption, whole egg consumption may be preferable during resistance training pro programs geared towards the improvement of muscular strength and body fat percentage. Wow. So there you have it. I mean, and if you look even deeper, egg yolks, gosh, they have more B, you know, vitamin B6, B12, thiamine. Um, they're a great source of iron excellent source of vitamin A, vitamin D and calcium. You know, they also have hot, they're higher in saturated fats and cholesterol. But as you can tell, if you're, if you're doing resistance training, um, you're missing out if you're not having the egg yolk. So I think that's the moral of the story from this study. I'm going to put a link in the show notes regarding the study. If you want to read a little bit more into it, but, um, I thought this would be advantageous and something that, you know, you might 
If you haven't done already, maybe this is something that's worth adding to your routine. So there you have it for today. Eat whole eggs. And um, I love the one thing I love about eggs is you can do you can do a lot with them. Um, add some meat to them, or you know, um, you could put them with ketchup. Some people do whatever 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 works for you. But I, I I highly recommend adding them if you're just using egg whites. I would switch out or at least add a little bit of egg yolk into your life. So there you have it. Hopefully you got some benefit from this study. I will put a link in the show notes. Um, and thanks again for listening. If you have any questions, email me, brian at briangrin.com. And I will talk to you on Friday with a great interview. Thanks for listening to the Get Lean, Eat Clean podcast. I understand there are millions of other podcasts out there and you've chosen to listen to mine. And I appreciate that. Check out the show notes at briangrin.com for everything that was mentioned in this episode. Feel free to subscribe to the podcast and share it with a friend or family member that's looking to get their body back to what it once was. Thanks again and have a great day.